Hello there, kia ora. I've had a lot of comments in the last couple of days about Nicola Willis with her robotic delivery, trying to tell people she's going to cut taxes and then, you know, increasing them for everybody. And it's quite a fascinating thing to sit down and look at because what it actually highlights is how during the election campaign, the National Party put a lot of influence into the hands of one organisation to try and get their reach and their influence increased on social media platforms. That organisation is called Topham Guerin. They're known worldwide for working on a number of conservative uh, election campaigns or policy points. And it's quite fascinating. They claim that that's a coincidence, but a lot of it comes down to the work that they choose to deal with themselves. There might not necessarily be some big conspiracy here, but they definitely choose what campaigns it is that they want to work on. And they include people like Boris Johnson and his re-election campaign for the Conservative Party in the UK, and Scott Morrison and his re-election campaign for the Liberal Party in Australia. They've done a few dodgy things along the way as well. Like they got fired very quickly after COVID hit in this country when they were putting out some COVID information that was seen as highly offensive to Chinese people. At the same time, or a little bit earlier, they actually got uh, into a little bit of trouble in the UK for taking the Conservative Party's Twitter account and changing it to Fact Check UK and running the opposition into the ground with a bunch of mis and disinformation. They have a little bit of a history, including because, you know, young Nats, and it seems to follow them around a fair bit, claims of misogyny going on within the work that they've been doing and the organisations that they've been working with. So they seem like a really good fit for the National Party here. But what you see in the content that was made for the National Party here is some really interesting stuff that highlights just how hands-on they would have been with the work that they're doing. You see, when it comes to creating engagement, hand movements is actually a really simple, free way of doing that. Because when you just sit there at a screen staring the whole time and nothing ever changes, it gets a little boring. Things like hand movements add dynamism to everything. Never going to do that again on a video, so enjoy it while you can. The fact is, though, that hand movements do help us communicate. They highlight what we're talking about or add emphasis to things. And that's just a form of communication that we get used to. And on video, it's exactly the same thing. But they also did a whole bunch of other tricks as well, like creating things that keep people engaged, looking at sand cutting, for example, or gamifying things so that people are playing the games while policy stuff is going on. What it ended up in was, to be fair, a really high impact campaign on social media. They got a lot more views than anybody else that was running the game during the election. So they certainly succeeded in that. But it doesn't necessarily mean that the quality of the content is great. And at the same time, you have to remember that people like Christopher Luxon and Nicola Willis, they're not performers. They're not comfortable in front of a camera. So everything does feel a little forced because you're trying to get a performance out of somebody who doesn't know how to perform. Overall, though, looking at the campaign back now, which is a campaign that Top and Guerin are very proud of the outcomes that they got. It's quite interesting to see just how much effort went into trying to make sure that people viewing the campaign saw the candidates as relatable in some way. Not necessarily likable. There are some people that are just completely unlikable no matter what you do to them. But making them seem relatable is a really fascinating way to make sure that people aren't really paying attention to the policies that are going on. Because if they were, maybe they would have noted things like when they said they're going to do exactly what they're doing that people are getting angry about now. Hey, the sand cutting was fun. I guess people watched that instead and didn't really pay that much attention to the uh, actual content of the video.